Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, Brian, a segment we've been looking forward to, man. We've been wanting to do this for years, an LS build, but you know, it's named LS Lesson for a reason. Absolutely. You know what? This is an awesome motor. You can do so much with it. It fits in so many things, but we're going to be methodical. And for a change, we don't have to drive a vehicle out of Tech Garage tonight. We can take our time, work on a little bit on this every single show this year. We're going to make a bunch of power, and we're going to do it on a budget. Yeah, absolutely on a budget. And the key word is, though, it's going to be right and when it's done man it's going to run so yep. first thing we're going to remove all the spark plugs but you know you don't want to just throw the spark plugs out you want to take them out in a methodical manner like brian said number them look at them that's the key take a look at this first graphic there you actually see spark plugs is going to tell you a lot about what's going on inside of an engine you can see a normal one there carbon fouled and then a lot of the other ones are either overheating or pre-ignition is basically overheating all the electrodes are burnt well check this out we even talked about this on today's show we talked about that lean condition. Well, if it got too lean, you can see a spark plug right here. This is actually the original one, and there's one. Look at that electrode on that joker. I mean, it's totally toasted off. That was a dead miss. Now, if that was happening in this engine, Brian, we got to really suspect that cylinder to come out of. Absolutely, and I love that. I love that pre-investigation because what that tells us is as we disassemble later on, we'll start to be looking very deliberately for evidence that we found right here, right now. So I'm all set up for our first compression check. We need to do that all the way around in all eight cylinders, but let's see what we've got here in one, just for fun. Super logical. I mean, a compression test, you can do it out in the junkyard. Doesn't matter. Tell us the condition of your engine. We actually are hooked up to a jump pack to a starter. Now, to do that, you would want the engine warm. Another thing you want to do is you want to block the throttle wide open so you get full airflow, and really, you want all the spark plugs out so you have an even cranking. And then what you want to do is simply just watch the gauge through four puffs, four compression cycles. Brian, yep. tell me when that thing puffs four times and we'll right. see what we have. You ready? Yep. All Go clear? Clear. clear. Three, Good. So you're just under 150, buddy. We're 150. pretty solid right yeah, there. Yeah, we're pretty yeah. solid. So the key would be to go to the next one and move on. So why don't you do yep. one more? Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and look at this graphic here. It talks about compression. Well, if they were all close to each other and high, you're in good shape. But let's say, for example, they're all low. Well, that could be a timing issue or some valve problems across where it affects all the cylinders. If one or more was low, well, we're kind of isolating the cylinder there. Maybe a valve, maybe something going on in that cylinder rings. Or if it was low, you can always do a wet compression test. You can put some oil in there, run it again, see if it comes up. If it comes up, well, then you got a ring problem. So we'll do one more. Ready? Yep, go for it. One, two, three, four. Right there, still the same, 148, 149, 150. Awesome, and it's good to note, you know, we got this motor out of a junkyard and we were told it was rebuilt, but yeah. hey, we don't trust that. <laughs> now another key, you can see the graphic right there. You actually get this uh, engine evaluation, Brian. You wanna go through and you wanna put everything on there. You wanna put what we found with the compression readings, the spark plugs, everything, because that's gonna lead us in the direction when we tear it down to what we're looking for. I mean, we don't wanna toss the head to the side and start tearing it down. You know, boom, let's makes look. all the difference in the world to document this as you go. Another fun little tip, use your phone. Do a little video recording of yourself. This is a fun project. Also, capture some of that data. You've got it to refer to later. A really good tip. Take pictures along the way. This is going to be an awesome project. What you it got? Is. Well, cylinder leakage gauge. Let's just say, for example, that cylinder was low. Well, we can even go as far to pinpoint why it's low. That's the cool part. So you see the cylinder leakage gauge here? What we're going to do is take it to top dead center. We would inject air into the cylinder, right? Yep. So at top dead center, both valves are closed. The air should go nowhere. If it's leaking out of the throttle body, hey, it's an intake. If you get out the exhaust, it's an exhaust. Bubbles in the radiator, you got adjacent cylinders, you got blown head gasket. One way or the other, we're going to determine the problem, isolate the problem before the teardown, yep. and whammo, man, we're going to do an awesome inspection. Absolutely, and I love the fact we got this jump pack, and I'm not out here with my breaker bar turning that crank pulley. I'll tell you what, it's going to be an awesome rebuild. Stay with us on Tech Garage, presented by Rock. RockAuto.com.